Chapter 14, Mishnah 13. The following Mishnah discusses a case in which two rich Mitzorim brought their animals to the base of Mikdash for their respective korbanos, but the two sheep intended for their two hatas offerings got mixed up with each other, with no way to tell which one belongs to which Mitzorah. There were two Mitzorim whose hatas offerings became mixed up with each other, and the korban of one of them was offered, and then one of the Mitzorim died. What should be done for the surviving Mitzorah to allow him to complete his tara? We cannot assume that he has fulfilled his responsibility with the korban that was already offered, because that animal might have belonged to the Mitzorah who died. Neither can we offer the second animal for whichever Mitzorah it belongs to, because that animal might be the one that belonged to the deceased Mitzorah, and it is forbidden to offer a chatas whose owner is deceased. Nor can the surviving Mitzorah offer a new animal as a chatas, because if the animal already offered was his, the new animal serves no purpose, and offering it in the courtyard violates the prohibition against offering chulin, non-consecrated animals, in the courtyard. The Solution This is the question the people of Alexandria asked Rabbi Yoshua. He said to them, The following is the solution. Let the surviving Mitzorah sign over all of his possessions to someone else, thereby making himself poor, and then he should bring the korban of a poor person. The brilliance of this solution is that the surviving Mitzorah is now able to bring a new chatas, because the law is that a bird chatas may be brought even in a case of a doubtful obligation, without concern for violating the prohibition against offering chulin in the courtyard. Since this Mitzorah is now poor, he is entitled to satisfy his chatas obligation with a bird chatas, which he is able to bring even out of doubt.